Okay, first, before we start to customize Windows 11, you need to make a restore point. In Start menu, type Restore. Choose Create a Restore Point. Here in the menu, select Local Disk C, click on Create. Give it a name. Click Create. So the restore point was created successfully, now you're ready to go to customize Windows 11. So first I'm gonna show you how to install the icon pack in Windows 11. Here in the start menu I will type about just to show you what Windows I'm using. And like you see my Windows is Windows 11 version 21H2. In description below, go to this link to download the Sweet Paranoia icon team. Here is the download link. Before you download from DeviantArt, you need to make account. Making account on DeviantArt is free and when you make account, you will be able to download anything from DeviantArt. So here is the download link. Download the Sweet Paranoia icon team. You will get files in WinRAR archive, so right click and extract to Sweet Paranoia icon team. Okay, go to the folder. Now first go to the IPEC folder. First go to the IPEC folder. Here open the text document. Read me first. This is really important. This is the icon pack that is made with IPEC and IPEC is only for Windows up to the version 1809 so do not use this on your windows 11 or windows 10 version 1903 so this is only up to the version 1809 for version 1903 and up use the 70sp application now how to install the sweet paranoia with ipac right click rename and remove this hit the enter click yes here you should get the exe application click on i accept go next patch all files go next and you should get new icon pack after installing icon pack with ipack builder i will go cancel here okay i will go to the 70sp folder and because i have windows 11 i will use 70sp to install the icon pack so this is 70sp candy this is the icon pack i will rename this remove this and i will hit the enter click yes now open this how to text document copy this link open your web browser and download the 70sp app Okay, extract the app from the WinRAR. Go to the 70SP app and here right click rename. Here type .exe. Hit the enter, click yes. Run this as administrator. So I have already this icon pack because I have give a test first to ensure that this pack is working on Windows 11 but I'm gonna remove this pack okay now go to the add a custom pack and then go to the your location where is your sweet paranoia and here go to the 70sp and select 70sp candy Okay, here you must see that the selected icon pack is 70sp candy. Now here in the extra, go to the options, uncheck this, create a new restore point when patching. So uncheck that, click on save, now just click start patching, click yes. Okay, now after patching, do not panic. You can see that I don't see any folder 
or icon on my desktop and also if I open Explorer you can see that everything is blank so do not panic what you need to do you need to restart your PC and do not click no here you need to click yes so I will click yes and I will be back after restarting my windows now after restarting you should get this message the system has been patched click OK here and now you can see that I have a completely new icon pack on my Windows 11. Okay, now for the team, I already have a custom team that I will show you later. But first I will go to personalize, go to the teams and I will select Windows default team. Okay, here's the default team of the Windows 11 doesn't look bad with this custom icon pack. What you need to do to apply a team, here's the link for the custom team and before you apply and use any of custom teams for Windows, you need to patch your Windows 11 and that means that you need to install Ultra UX Team Patcher or Secure UX Team, all new Explorer and if you want you can install Start All Back. I have it but this is only in your opinion you don't need to install start all back because of the team if you're wondering how to install ultra UX team patcher all new Explorer to enable to use custom teams in Windows 11 I have made a tutorial here's the tutorial how to patch Windows 11 install custom team this is most updated tutorial on how to do that it's really quick after you do that after you install all new Explorer Ultra UX team patcher then you can download this team so download it here's the download link after it's downloaded you can put this on the desktop and I will extract the files from the Windler. Okay, what we have here, we have start doc. This is for Windows 10. I will skip this folder. We have start all back orb. This is custom orb for start all back. We have start menu and taskbar for start all back. I will show you that later. How to install. We have some tools. I will skip this also. We have wallpapers and we have Windows themes. Okay, what you need to do here, you need to copy all of it, go to local disk C, Windows, then go to the resources, themes and paste it here. After you paste it, close this, go to personalize, go to the themes and apply one of the themes that you just pasted. You have many versions, but I will use this version and there you go. The theme has applied and now I will go back to this folder. Now if you want you can install start all back to bring back this start menu and the taskbar. If you install this you can install custom start orb and you can install start menu for this theme. And how to install this start menu style. First you need to copy this and then go to this PC and here type app data. Hit the enter. Ok now just go one folder back go to the local and here you will find start all back and here you have orbs and styles now because I have copied the style I will go to this folder style and paste it like you see I already have it it's here now go back and here in the folder go to the start all back orb and copy this then go back to this folder and go to the orbs and then just paste it I will put this link to start all back in the description below so you can just easily copy and paste it now go to the start all back properties right click and here you have start menu and visual style choose paranoid and then go back to the taskbar and here also you have visual style paranoid and then choose this start button there is one more quick settings that you need to apply and that is Windows 11 settings. Ok now here go to the explorer and apply these settings. Choose Windows 7 command bar and then apply these settings that I have show you. Also here you have more visual styles of the start all back. I will delete this because I don't need it anymore. That's it. We have customized Windows 11.
now I will just go to the personalize and I will show you a quick preview of some of the themes that comes in this pack so enjoy in the rest of the video And now the final step of this Windows 11 customization is wallpaper. Go to this link in description below to download this wallpaper. There is no download button, but what you can do, you can click on image, right click, open image, a new tab, right click, save image as, and then save it. I have already do that, it's in my pictures, right click, set as desktop background. And now it's done. The Windows 11 is customized and it's looks really sick okay i love it the team is amazing the custom icon pack is also good it's fitting to the desktop background wallpaper and there you go that's how you can customize windows 11 Also, if you want to fix these yellow folders, there is one trick that you can do. You can go to the control panel and here in view by set to the large icons. Then choose file explorer options. Here in the view tab, you have options to always show icons, never thumbnails. Click OK. Then go back to the explorer and you will see that everything is the same. Now you have completely new folders. So thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye.